Sure. So this is a really, really common phenomenon. And I think it goes very undiscussed because most females are not comfortable talking about it. So it doesn't get discussed. And therefore, people think it's a problem that they have when in reality, there was a study done. And 52 percent, I've even seen higher numbers, honestly, I just picked a conservative number. 52 percent is what this study had of Female athletes and trainees who had involuntary urination regularly when they exercised. Now, this is like clearly a widespread problem. And most people don't get anything done about it, but they should because this is indicative of some serious dysfunction going on within their bodies. Like this is something that absolutely has to be addressed. This should not be accepted as normal. So uh, essentially what goes on is you have a pelvic floor and you have a diaphragm. And a lot of people, again, I'm talking about extension a lot, but this really is the case. I can't undersell how, oversell how important this problem most people have is. So if you are stuck in extension, your diaphragm, your pelvic floor cannot essentially reciprocate and do their jobs correctly. And let me explain that a little bit more. So when we inhale, our diaphragm and pelvic floor should descend because air and gas is coming in. And as we exhale, they should both ascend because the air and gas and pressure is going out. What happens is, is if we get stuck in the state of extension, the pelvic floor becomes permanently uh, descended because all this air, gas, and pressure is going down into the pelvic floor because that rib cage is flared up, the belly is protruding out, so we have a ton of um, basically unaccounted for air, gas, and pressure stuck in our abdomen, and that is just going down into our pelvic floor because really at the end of the day, we're extended and we can't breathe well. So what happens is all that air, gas, and pressure causes tension in the pelvic floor and puts pressure on the urethra and the bladder. So now let's say you do something super explosive. Let's say you're jumping, or you're sprinting where you have multiple times your body weight hitting the floor and gravity is basically pushing you down. Uh, like when you sprint seven times, times your body weight, that pressure and air is going to force liquid, uh, which is just going to respond to the conditions of the environment it's in, that has no choice but to just go out of your body. And that's essentially what's happening when people involuntary, involuntarily urinate themselves while exercising. They have all this gas and fluid, which is just pushing that fluid out of their bodies, and they can't control it because there's just too much pressure built up within their pelvic floor. It should be a, there should be an open line of dialogue. And um, when I have seen discussion about it, people accept it as normal. Like I have I know this is not related to soccer, but I've seen many videos of uh, powerlifting women who do one rep max deadlifts or doing something really heavy. And then they just pee themselves. And then you see a bunch of comments saying, oh, that's normal. That's totally fine. When it's not OK, <laughs> that should not be accepted as OK. And. Uh, girls need to understand that this is indicative of a high degree of dysfunction and it's indicative of other things going wrong in the body as well. And these things can and should be addressed. There is a fix to it. They just need to understand that.